Hey everybody, uh, okay we're going to solve some exponential equations. I'm sorry my wife is getting ready in the background. We're going to go out to lunch. So <laughs> I kind of dig this music anyway. So I hope it doesn't distract you that much. I, I love it. So anyway, uh, uh, let's see. So here we go. Let's go. Our, um, uh, our question is, uh, what are some ways to solve the equations? Um, and notice this has to be greater than zero. Okay and it can't be one okay so it won't be one okay so solving exponential equations a times b to the x equals c and we do this doing logarithm stuff okay so solve exponential equations so let's solve each equation and we'll give the exact solution which um, uh, some textbook some textbooks call it uh, calculator ready solutions and uh, and then we plug it in the calculator to give us a, a, a decimal solution okay so here we go Okay, so this is an exponential equation because x is in the exponent right there, okay? So what we're going to do is log both sides. Now since we have e right here, we're going to natural log both sides, okay? So but before we do that, we've got to solve for the e first. So we divide both sides by that 5 right there, okay? You with me? <clears throat> okay, now let's natural log both sides, okay? And the reason why we want a natural law of both sides, I call it the blah blah rule. If these bases match up right here, then it equals that exponent. And natural log is base e. So when um, uh, if you see that, that's base e, and so these bases match up. So this side just equals that exponent of 4x. So 4x equals a, a natural log of 2. Okay, and I call it the blah blah rule. If I've done that and when I taught algebra 2, then divide by 4. And so there's uh, the exact answer right there. And so if we plug that in our calculator, uh, hit 2 natural log, or sometimes some calculators, actually more of the newer ones, uh, you got to hit natural log and then 2, and then divide it by 4. And when you do that, you should get that. Okay, easy enough. Okay, all right, so here, okay, before we log both sides, let's go ahead and add 4 to both sides. Okay, and now we'll log both sides. And, that, and uh, our calculators are are um, programmed for base 10 or uh, base e and so so if, it's, if you don't see an e involved then, then um, base 10 log base 10 of both sides okay and do you remember uh, what happens with this exponent right here so it does this you guys when there's an exponent when you're logging both sides it's a good song <laughs> uh, this k this exponent comes down in front okay so this x is going to come down in front right there and you get uh, that and then we can log both sides of 5, and there's our, um, I'm sorry, divide by log of 5 on both sides, and there's our uh, exact answer right there. And so in your calculator, most calculators you can do log 11, and you don't even have to hit equals, and then just hit divided by log of 5, and when you do that, make sure you can get to that right there, okay? Alright, so this one here, we've got to do some exponent rules. And uh, do you remember this property, the log of uh, when you're multiplying them, they're separated by an addition sign. So here we got an addition sign, so I'm going to cram them back together with a multiplication sign. So it's going to be this times this. It's going to be the log of one log of this times this, okay? So it still equals 2, okay? Notice there's no log on that side, okay? Let's go ahead and distribute that 2 through so we get that. Okay, and then uh, and remember, this is base 10 right here. So, so this base to this power equals that 2x squared. Okay, so this base to this power equals this. Okay, IFF means if and only if. So b to the c equals a, b to the c equals a. Okay, so this is base 10. I think I put a base 10 in there. I did. So 10 to the 2 equals that. Okay, all right, and then so 10 squared is 100, and then I just flipped it around the equal sign. Notice these are all divisible by 2, so I like smaller numbers, so, and it's a quadratic equation, so we want it to equal 0, so if we divide by 2 and set it equal to 0, and then we factor. Factor is a negative 50 or negative 10 and positive 5, so we factor that, and then we set those factors equal to 0 right there, okay? So then we get uh, x equals 10 or x equals 5, okay? Now, <clears throat> remember, this can't be um, a negative number right there, okay? So the definition is of logs is we're taking the logs of a positive number, so we've got to get rid of that negative 5, and so x equals 10. 
All right. Okay. How about this guy? Okay. Let's first uh, divide by three. We get uh, we get one. Remember, anything to the zero power equals one. So um, so uh, so if if this equals one, then this must be zero. Okay. So so eight x equals zero, and so that just means x equals zero right there. Okay. Anything to the zero equals one. All right. This one says log, log um, or solve by using log base 2. Okay, so let's log base 2 of both sides, all right? And then we're going to use the blah, blah rule, okay? If these numbers match up, do you see these numbers matching up? It equals that exponent. So this is going to equal just x minus 3 right there, okay? Plus 3 to both sides. There's our exact answer. And then um, uh, use your change of base formula. We like using base 10, so it's going to be the log of 85 over the log of 2. Okay, and then uh, so crank that in your calculator. Uh, log of 85 divided by log of 2 is about that, and then add 3 to that, so our decimal answer is going to be about 9.409. Okay, all right, you guys, if you are in my class, that's going to be your assignment. Take care.